Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents How Does Farming Impact Air Quality? Adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the journal PNAS, published on May 10th, 2021. Research conducted by Nina Domingo, Shaniti Balasubramanian, Jason Hill, and others from the Department of Bioproducts and Biosystems Engineering at the University of Minnesota. See the full list of authors and their affiliations in the accompanying PDF. Read by Miranda Wilson. Abstract. Farming releases small particles of pollution into the air. This lowers the quality of the surrounding air and has serious impacts on human health. In fact, Air pollution caused by farming results in 17,900 deaths in the U.S. every year. We wanted to understand more about which farming processes and foods cause the most pollution. That way, we could look for ways to reduce it. We calculated the total farming-related air pollution released in the U.S. We broke this data down into different categories for further analysis. We found that animal waste, fertilizer, and tilling caused the vast majority of deaths. Animal-based foods caused nearly four times more deaths than plant-based foods. Finally, we looked at interventions that could decrease air pollution. We found that changes in diet were the most effective, but farming interventions alone could lower deaths considerably. Introduction. In the last 60 years, the human population has exploded. It increased from 3 billion in 1960 to 7.9 billion in 2020. To keep up with the rising demand for food, farmers have had to increase the amount of food they produce. This has led to some farming processes that have negative effects on both human health and the environment. Now, scientists and farmers are looking for ways to reduce these effects, but we still want to produce the same amount of food. Finding a balance between these factors isn't easy, but new research is starting to show some solutions. One of the negative effects of farming is a reduction in air quality. Farming processes such as tilling, fertilizer application, and field burning release small particles into the air. These particles stay in the air for a long time and move around in the wind. When we breathe in these particles, they can cause serious health problems, such as heart disease, cancer, and strokes. In fact, in the U.S. alone, human-caused air pollution results in 100,000 deaths every year. Scientists think that one-fifth of these deaths are because of farming. Yet there has been very little research into farming-related air pollution. The aims of our study were to understand more about the impacts of farming on air pollution, to find out how individual farming processes and foods affect air quality, and to come up with solutions to reduce farming air pollution. Farming processes release small particles into the air. In the photo, you can see farming machinery kicking up dust and particles into the air. Methods. We investigated three questions. One, how much air pollution is caused by farming and where? We looked at data from the National Emissions Inventory. We went through all their air pollution data and extracted all the data linked to farming. We then looked at where pollution is emitted. This is important because high emissions near a city impacts more people. Two, which processes and products cause the most air pollution? We sorted the pollution data into two main categories, farming processes and food products. We then analyze them to work out which processes and products cause the most air pollution. And three, what could help reduce air pollution? We looked at possible interventions that could help reduce air pollution in farming. We focused on changes that farmers can make as well as changes that consumers can make. 
Here in figure one, you can see the farming processes that cause the most associated deaths each year. Livestock waste, seen in blue, causes the highest percentage of deaths at 39.4%. Fertilizer application in light green causes the second highest percentage of deaths at 27.3%. This is followed by tilling in light yellow at 18.2%, then field burning in orange at 7.1%. Agricultural equipment in red and livestock dust in white, both cause 4% of deaths each year. Results. Our research showed that air pollution from farming causes 17,900 deaths every year. Air pollution is highest in California, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and along the upper Midwest Corn Belt. We identified eight farming processes and 67 different food products. Three farming processes caused 84% of the deaths. These were livestock waste management, fertilizer application, and tilling. We showed that animal-based foods caused 71% of deaths, with red meat contributing to 41%. Our study showed that improvements in farming processes could potentially decrease the number of deaths by 50%. Improvements in livestock waste, or manure management, and fertilizer application would have the largest benefits. We also found that consumer-led changes could decrease the number of annual deaths too. Together, reducing food waste and decreasing food consumption could prevent 12% of deaths. However, dietary shifts would have the largest impact. Switching from red meat to poultry could reduce 40% of deaths, and a vegan diet could reduce 83% of deaths. Here in Figure 2, you can see the impact of farming and consumer-led interventions. In the graph, you can see the potential interventions on the y-axis, starting with reduced food waste and followed by improving fertilizer application processes, improving manure management, eating poultry instead of red meat, all farming interventions, eating a vegetarian diet, and eating a vegan diet from top to bottom. On the x-axis, you can see the number of deaths per year that are associated with each intervention. Consumer interventions are represented by yellow bars, and farm interventions are represented by blue bars. In each bar, you can see their percentage decrease in deaths if that intervention were followed. The current number of deaths is represented by the black bar across the top of the graphic. Looking at this data, which single farming intervention reduces the most annual deaths? Discussion. Poor air quality is the largest environmental health risk in the U.S. That's why we wanted to learn more about the impacts of farming on air quality. By doing this, we also found ways to reduce farming pollution. We discovered that both farmer and consumer-led changes could decrease the number of deaths caused by this pollution. We focused on improvements to air pollution and associated death rates, but many of the suggested changes also have extra environmental benefits. For example, decreasing food waste also lowers greenhouse gas emissions. In a similar way, some of our suggested changes have other benefits to human health. For example, eating more plant-based foods lowers your risk of developing type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. Conclusion It is often difficult to see how one person can make a difference to the world around you, but our research has demonstrated how much impact your decisions have. You don't have to maintain a strict vegan diet to make a difference. All you need to do is be a conscious consumer and think about what you are eating. Could you eat poultry instead of red meats? Could you reduce your meat intake by having meat-free days? Or could you go veggie or vegan for a week? What about a month? 
If you want to do more, you can also help by spreading the word. Speak to your school representatives to see if the canteen can offer more plant-based foods, or petition your local policymakers to encourage better farming practices. Thank you for listening to this recording. Visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources.